Dear students, let us learn today transformation of sentences, simple, complex, and compound. There are three kinds of sentences, simple, complex, and compound. Read this sentence, birds fly, birds fly, we sing, he sings. See, in the first sentence, in all the three sentences have only two words, birds fly, we sing, he sings, fly, sing, sings. So, the first, all the three sentences we call a sentence because fly, the verb is there. So, birds fly. One single verb is present in all these three sentences. See the difference between the second and the third. Sing, sings. Sing, the verb goes in agreement with the subject. We First person plural, so sing in the present tense. Sings. And sings just applied. It goes in agreement with the subject he. Third person singular. So in the present tense, it just adds with the base verb sings. Now I just write another sentence here. Seeing the snake, he ran away. Seeing the snake, he ran away. So just see this sentence. And here, you cannot just to say there are two verbs in this sentence. The finite verb is ran. Same thing in the first three sentences also. Finite verb, fly, sing, sings. Here, he ran away. Finite verb. Then what about this one? This is non-finite verb which we call it as present participle. So, think that a simple sentence. So, what is a simple sentence? A simple sentence has only one finite verb in it. And it may also have non-finite verbs also. Okay? So, we just saw or from these four examples, a simple sentence has got only one finite verb, fly, sing, sings. And the fourth sentence, you see a non-finite seeing and also a finite verb, ran. So what is a simple sentence? A simple sentence has only one finite verb. And there is always only one finite verb in simple sentence. A non-finite verb may also be present in a simple sentence. So we have to keep in mind that a simple sentence has got only one finite verb. It can be, in, I can just give you some more examples. For example, now, will you post this letter? Will you post this letter? Okay, so it's a question. Will you post this letter? I have met him before. I have met him before. I have met him before. So just to see these two sentences. So will you post this letter? Will post. Don't think there are two words. Will post. Future tense. Single verb. Same thing. Have met. Present perfect tense. So they show the tense forms. But single verb. So, will you post this letter? It is also a simple sentence. And I have met him before. A simple sentence. I can give you so many examples of this. You know, he is a simple form. So, he is a simple form. So, just always remember, is a simple verb. A single verb. So let us keep in mind, simple sentence always just take only one finite verb. So a simple sentence has got one finite verb. There may be non-finite verbs 
in simple sentences too. Okay. So, simple sentence has got only one finite verb in it. Okay. Now, let us come back to the complex sentence. So, what is complex sentence? So, complex sentence may have one main verb and one or more than one subordinate classes. So, that is what complex sentence is. So, complex sentence has got one main class plus one or more than one subordinate classes. So, what is a class? I'll just write a sentence on the blackboard. See, when the boy, when the boy saw the snake, when the boy saw the snake, he ran away. So, when the boy saw the snake, he ran away. And just think of this sentence. When the boy saw the snake, he ran away. How many verbs are here? Two verbs are there. Saw, ran. And two verbs are also finite verbs. Now, which is main class? See here, when the boy saw the snake, is it incomplete? So when the boy saw the snake, what happened? So what, what did he do? He ran away. So he ran away is the main class. Okay. So it is. So a main class will just give the complete sense of the meaning. Sorry, complete sense of the sentence. It just gives a complete meaning of the sentence. So that you can just see here, he ran away, completed. But if I just read, when the boy saw the snake, it incomplete, it expects something, it expects something to join with. So here, the first one, the, when the boy saw the snake, we call it a subordinate class. So it is subordinate class, subordinate class and he ran away, main class. Okay. So, what is a complex sentence? A complex sentence has got one main class and more than one, or that is one or more than one subordinate classes. Clear now? Okay. So, that's the difference between simple sentence and complex sentence. I can just give some more examples. That is one more example of complex sentence. That is, before we went, before we went out, sorry, we went very far. Before we went very far, just to see here, before we went very far, we found that, we found that, so it can be a very long sentence also, okay? We had lost our way. We had lost our way. So see this sentence. So first one, when the boy saw the snake, he ran away. So one subordinate class and one main class. But here before we went very far, we found that we had lost our way. And which is that? Uh, main class in this sentence. See the sentence that gives complete meaning of it. So complete sense we had lost our way. So this becomes the main class. Okay. Now just to see the other two sentences. Others two uh, I mean sentence here in this sentence the before we went very far. Went verb found also verb finite verbs but before we went very far, what happened? Incomplete. We found that. What did you find? Okay, once again, we had lost our way. So this is the answer sir, given to these two classes. Do you understand? So before we went very far, one subordinate class and another subordinate class, this is the first one, we found that the second subordinate class and then you just have the main class. We had lost our way. 
So from these two sentences, you can easily understand that a complex sentence has got one main class and one or more than one subordinate classes.